What up, Jaguars? Mr. Lar here with another video demonstration of a Festa Finale. This time it's the alto saxophone part. Make sure, altos, that you are aware of your key signature. You have all F naturals in this. Your second note, actually, is an F natural. Speaking of your second note, you want to practice this whole introductory thing after your first four-bar multi-measure rest. Be ready for this four-bar phrase. <laughs> Actually comes back again later on in the song at measure 46 47 48 and 49 and 50 that same five bar phrase actually so that's why it's really important to have that down that's really the trickiest part of the whole song there's only a couple other parts you got to watch out for specifically measure 21 there is a sharp sign next to that C which means it's actually the easiest note you could play on saxophone look mono hands don't actually take your hands off the instrument but you know what I mean don't press any keys down for C sharp <laughs> Make sure that you are remembering that the sharp carries through the measure. So if it's sharped once, the rest of those C's in that measure stay sharped, okay? Right after that is the only other sort of tricky part. It's got low G's, low A's, and low F's, as well as a C that they throw in there. So listen to this next part. I'm picking up right where we left off at measure 25. <laughs> Make sure you're tonguing the notes that you're supposed to tongue, slur to the notes with the curve wind connecting to the next note, okay? Beyond that, there's one other note I want to make you aware of, and that is at measure 67, 68, 69 has an A flat. How do you play an A flat, do you ask? Well, it's just like playing G. This is a low G, by the way, and then you're going to add this pinky finger right here. So a 67, which is the last few bars of the whole song, it's what I like to call the outro, sounds like this. And then you do end up with two high G's at the very end. But notice when I switched from the G to the A flat, instead of lifting up a finger, I actually put down this pinky finger, which actually opens up another key to make it sound like the A flat. The A flat carries through the measure. So even though you see two other A's there with no flats, the rule of accidentals is if it's flatted once or sharped once, it stays sharp or it stays flat in this case through the rest of that measure, okay? At the beginning, make sure you get the clap with the recording. Don't stop your recording and then and then start it back up again. Once you clap, just let it roll. If you got to stop and restart because you messed up, then go for it. Understand that no recording is going to be absolutely perfect. Even I'm going to make mistakes, okay? So get it as close as you can to being perfect. Give yourself a couple tries. Do a few takes and then give me your best take, okay? Even if there's a couple mistakes in there, no big deal, all right? Let's check this out. I'm gonna demonstrate this with the track playing through an external speaker. You do not do this. When you play along with the guide track, by the way, it has to be the guide track because you can't use the YouTube clip. This is at a different tempo, and it's got clicks, a, sp a steady metronome click going on in the background, and they've got rehearsal numbers, the measure markers to help you keep your place in case you happen to get lost, okay? And there's instructions to the, at the beginning. The reason why you gotta use that guide track on, in addition to all those other things is, we need everybody playing at the same tempo. So, when you play with the guide track and you record, make sure you're running the guide track through some earbuds or some headphones so we don't hear all the extra talking and instructions and the clicks from the metronome. We just wanna hear you playing your instrument, okay? So here we go, watch how I do this. This is just for demonstration purposes only. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is line up our audio and video with a clap. Gotta get the clap. You'll hear one measure of metronome, you'll hear me count you in, and then we're going to clap together on beat one. Hands free. Make sure that your hands are very visible in the video and that you're clapping right in time. Here we go. And one, two, ready, and clap. All right, if you missed it, go ahead and restart the video and try again. Now let's get ready to perform. Make sure that your head, shoulders, and instrument are clearly visible. You're going to hear one measure of metronome, two measures of count off, and then we're in at the beginning of a festive finale. Here we go. And one, two, one, two, ready, play. <laughs> Thirteen. 
is it and by no means was that perfect i definitely had a few missed notes in there but it is not enough to say that was a bad recording okay if you were to make that your recording and you had those same mistakes little issues that i had i would be okay with that okay we're all human we all make mistakes it's not going to be an absolutely perfect recording but you can give yourself a couple tries at it so if you need to record it again remember starting with the clap is key so make sure all the videos sync up together and just give it your best try okay so Hopefully with this being on YouTube, you guys can adjust the speed and you can practice along with this, noticing where I did the different fingerings. Um, I will admit that there were a couple mistakes there at that second time through that intro melody that I said to work on, that 46, 47, 48, and 49, but hopefully you guys can get it better than I did. All right, so have fun with this, give it your best shot, and good luck to you. Don't forget, we got to get these turned in by the end of this week. Don't wait till Monday, all right? Good luck, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.